Welcome back everybody to the Mana Bros channel. It's your boy Bigger Nuggets and I apologize for not posting too much on the Mana Bros channel. I've been trying to post when I can, you know, updates on, on important stuff, but with like the Star Wars content really being like low, there really isn't like too much and I, I just didn't want to just like, you know, nitpick like little things that have been going on. I, I want to gather some good information and make some, some good videos for you guys and some shorts. So I do promise that I'm going to be doing my best to upload at least some shorts and stuff and at least a video whenever we get the opportunity because Eagle Heart and I have been super busy lately. Life has been just crazy, but we're doing our best to be back on here and we're definitely going to be covering all of Andor. Uh, so I'm very excited for this series. I love Rogue One. Rogue One is like absolutely one of my favorite movie Star Wars movies of all time. And I know it was trending on Twitter once that everybody was just absolutely loving Rogue One. So I have high hopes for Andor. My expectations are pretty high. The fact that they already got a second season going and we haven't even seen the first season yet. So um, I have some I have some high expectations for the season. Uh, so I'm hoping Andor really delivers. So let me know your thoughts below, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe because we're going to get the content flowing on the channel. And I appreciate your love. And let's go ahead and dive into this episode. I have some high expectations for this show. Already beautiful intro. Already beautiful intro. <laughs> Already the intro is beautiful. Oh, wow. There he is. Cassie and Andor. Okay, these shots are are I'm I'm lucky. Look at this. Whoa, is this the red light district in Star Wars? <laughs> oh snap! <laughs> I like how like. I like how dark and like muggy it feels, you know what I mean? Like the vibe to this is like really nice. Like I'm actually really liking it. Oh, kick their ass, Andor. Come on. Oh. Oh, okay. Tell me now. Tell me what to do. Let's hear it now. Get up. Get him up. Get him up. Oh shit. Oh, he's dead. Yep, no witnesses. No witnesses. I, I I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I was like, no witnesses. Damn, he, he really killed him like that. Holy snap. He really... He was just defending... You were, de, were defending yourself. Yeah, you better run. <laughs> get out of... Get out of Dodge. <laughs> Cast it, because... Oh, my God. Oh, see, that's like karma for you, right? It like... Oh, that's a cool ass shit. It's like it backfired on him, you know what I mean? Like, dude was trying to be all hard on Cassian, you know? He just hit him in the back of the head. Like, he just like... I was not expecting him to die like that. <laughs> Ooh, there's that little droid that I think I've seen in all the promotions for Andor. I love that every every like new like uh, Star Wars show brings in like a new uh, droid in some way, shape, or form. Those are the what are they, like kind of hogs. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Shock him. <laughs> I like that. I like that. So he's on a hunt for his sister. And he proves to the rebellion that, you know, that he, uh, oh, look at, look at the world, but look at that. <laughs> That's actually really nice. Practice, the practical effects are pretty clean. I like when Star Wars does practical effects like that. I think this is really like brings the world to life. So not, not everything is CGI, you know what I mean? But like, it's all practical effects. And I think that is just awesome. It makes, it makes the Star Wars world more lively like that instead of just CGI everywhere. What's up with that wall of gloves? I'm really curious about like his, like what's this? Like, is it just like a bunch of kids that are just like surviving in the woods and shit? Like, cause I don't see no adults and they're all just kids. Really native, look at that. <laughs> that was hilarious. I think your contact is gonna be the rebels. That's what I'm thinking is gonna be. It's such a lively world. I love it. I, I love how lively the world is. It's just awesome. Come on, girl. You're a spy. You gotta be better than that. Juke him. Juke him left. Juke him right. Yep, and she's gone. She knows how to disappear. So I'm wondering if she's a rebel as well. We'll see right now. Because I feel like who she's talking to is, you know... Oh, he's not. Oh, I wonder was that gonna cause friction with the other commander guy? You know, he's pushing for this, uh, for these murders. Ooh. Damn, what's going on with Andor? Like, I wonder what his, like... Seems like his favors are running out.
Okay. I hope nothing I hope nothing happens to her. Okay, that's the oh that's it, that's it. That was the first episode? All right, so my impressions right now of this episode, I gotta say, is I, I'm actually vibing with it. I actually like this. This is actually really nice. I like, you know, the shots that they're shooting, like the wide-angle shots, Takassian walking down that long bridge. That reminds me of, like, of um of the Han Solo movie with those long bridges like that he's walking through, which I think is beautiful. The shots here have been absolutely amazing. I, I actually really like it. Um, I like the um, the fact that the worlds look so lively, like all the practical effects that they're using for all the people there, for all the aliens, makes this world really come to life, makes that city just like look so vibrant, and I really, really like that. I think that's an awesome addition. I like that they kept a lot of it practical, and I know we got some CGI stuff in there, but I feel like the majority of that is just practical effects, which is awesome. Uh, now, um, I like Cassian's uh, story right now, like it's very interesting, like I feel like his luck has been running out through everything. Like all his receipts are are coming up due, and he's scrambling just to survive, just to get out of where he's trying to be at. Um, I like the flashbacks to as a kid, and I'm really interested in those flashbacks because like they're not there's no dialogue. I put the subtitles on. There's still no dialogue. Uh, I can't. I, I think they're not translating their words, but I guess we just gotta look at the context clues around us, like what's going on around, to really look at those scenes. So I might have to rewatch the episode. I just look at those scenes to kind of get some idea of what's going on. But I'm really interested to see what's going on in the next episode. I'm just, like, really intrigued right now. Like, what happened to Cassian as a kid that made him into what he is now and him going into rebellion? Like, I know the Rebels are coming up. When the, when the girl goes up to that to that tower to send that message, like, I already know, like, we already seen from, like, the, the animated series and everything that they've already had. Uh, the Rebels have been doing uh, things since the very beginning. Like, they have outposts. Like, the people are rebelling, and, and I like that. I feel like uh, this Star Wars show is going to be different than any other Star Wars show because they're not talking about the Force or the Jedis or anything like that. This is just a show about the people rebelling, you know, standing up against the Empire who has been, you know, taking control. We see it with the Bad Batch, how they've been spreading everywhere, you know, going to different planets, systems, and just taking over. And, and I like that. I feel like uh, Andor is really going to show us more of the people of Star Wars and not, like... You know, Mandalorians, you know, Jedis and all that stuff. This is the people of the galaxy. So I really like that. I, interesting. So far, I, if I had to rate this, I, I'm actually going to give it like an 8 out of 10. Like, it's nice. It's really, really nice. I'm really vibing with it. I think it's a great, great way to kick off. And um, and, I, and, I, and I feel like it's really going to build up to the next couple episodes to the end of the season. So can't wait to see the next two episodes, guys. Keep an eye on the channel. We're going to be posting up these episodes as fast as I can. Pumping out some content for you guys. So let me know your thoughts on this first episode. And don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. And may the force be with you. For this is the way. Thank you.